Congratulations, friends. How are you? Good. That's awesome, man. <laughs> anyway, today I am showing you that uh, how will you define WBS work background structure and project in this work background structure. So, so let's start. First, open your Primavera P6 professional. Give your password in this. yeah so look that was the project which we made in the last lecture so today what would we do i will just show you that how will you define a new eps first of all eps so basically what is eps eps is a folder eps is a type of folder in which your all the project related activities are saved so first we will define a uh, EPS for that we will go to enterprise and then enterprise project structure here you can define another EPS so just click anywhere and click the add look so here you can see this new EPS has been defined so first give ID to your EPS let me give this as one and the name of your EPS is um, Primavera lectures let me take this as this so click anywhere outside or press enter and then press close so to see your work you will have to click on the projects here and you can see your new project has been defined over here primavera lectures so this is your new wbs yeah, sorry, there is, this is your new EPS, not WBS. Now to define, sorry, now to define, so now to add a WBS, you will have to click on the this button. You can see WBS is written over here, and now you have come into WBS. The, uh, you can see that WBS is also written over here. Now, in between here, you have to define another WBS for that you have to click on this add button Plus, call it as WBS1 and in the name you can call it as oops, while in the name you can give it a name so let's suppose in my case this is you can say it as structure so structure is the name of your WBS so that's how you will create WBS now. so your WBS has been defined here so if you just go to project tab here and now if you go to your, your new project file right click on it and open your project so here you can see that this WBS has been defined WBS1 structure has been defined so now what you have to do to add any activity you can just click uh, just select this WBS and then you can click add so you can see right behind here you have come up with a wizard and now on the back side you can see a uh, activity has been defined so you can just go on by defining and just keeping it next in the previous slide you can define activity names and now here you can define which in which project WBS you want to keep your this activity so you can define your WBS over here and then go to next now you can activity type you can define then you can define the resources and then you can duration type so I'm just keeping it next next and then ok so here you can see that my one type my one activity has been defined similarly you can add some more activities as well okay and then you can go on to next 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 finish so you can see similarly you can add as much activities you want so i hope this was this was useful for you so now it's time to ask you to subscribe the channel like the videos and share your, uh, this video with your friends so i will see you in the next video and i will show you that how will you define the resources and 
different activity types and duration types of the activities so see you then